When we talk about mechanical systems in a commercial building, we are talking about, um, well, plumbing and electricity, but mostly we're talking about heating and cooling. And the field that works in heating and cooling is called HVAC. That's how you pronounce it, HVAC, which stands for heating, ventilating, and air conditioning. And in a commercial building, you'll often have a boiler that makes hot water and uh, some cooling systems that cool things and then stuff for handling the air. So at LCC, for example, we have a boiler that makes hot water and then a pump that pumps the hot water through all the buildings. And then, uh, like many commercial buildings in the cooling system, we have a chiller which makes hot water, uh, which makes water really cold. It chills the water. And then cooling towers, which are like big swamp coolers, basically. Uh, they evaporate the water. And then uh, ventilation systems are really important. They move the air around. Not only do they distribute the heat and cool air, but they are very important for health. And it's important to have enough fresh air and enough air changes. I stuck this in just because it's interesting. This is from a company called Systems West in Eugene. And they do almost all of the mechanical systems for the LCC campus. So here is their schematic. And you can see it's kind of unusual looking. Their schematic showing the central plant um, that handles the heating and cooling in Building 12. The organization that produces standards for HVAC stuff is called ASHRAE. That's how you say it, ASHRAE. And that stands for American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers. And they produce all kinds of standards and other educational materials, handbooks, and so forth. Um, When we, when we design a commercial building, we uh, are required by code to refer to these ASHRAE standards, and they're incorporated into the code by reference. Um, so for ventilation, the standard comes from the, the 62 series of standards. This one is for residential buildings like apartments, but there are others. And then there's an energy standard, the 90 series. Um, by the way, there is a student chapter of ASHRAE at the U of O. Um, a lot of architecture students belong to the student chapter. But go to their website and have a look. You'll find all kinds.